What's up dudes, welcome back for another music video reaction. I'm taking a look at the brand new song from Mama Moo called Yes I Am that is coincides with the release of a brand new album from them called Purple. Um, I did do record a video yesterday for their dad joke song or whatever and my, my personal video that I recorded was god awful. Although, as I was watching this, of course, and probably the reason why it was horrible is because that's not really a song that is conducive to a music video reaction. So, that was a poor choice on my part, but that's why there was no video yesterday uh, like I normally would do. So, I'm, I'm pretty interested and eager, as with any Mama Moo release, of course, to, to check this out, see what it's all about. So, like I do in all, all my videos, I'm going to listen to this song and give you my honest first impression, thoughts, and opinions about what I liked about the song and what I did not. So, if that's something that is interesting to you, you want to hear more of what I've got to say in the future, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. So, with all that out of the way, let's get the video started. We're we're getting that we're getting the high notes out of the way early. Okay. Oh, I'm digging I'm digging the groove. And I gotta turn this up a little bit so I can catch a little bit of that bass guitar back there. Alright, we're blasting it. I can't hear anything. So if I start yelling, you know I can't it's cause I can't hear myself. I like this. I like this a lot. This is really, really good. I d dude, this this groove, this groove, and all that stuff that's that's back there in the music is awesome. I'm more interested in that. I'm more hooked into that a little bit. It's very very faint. Like I can barely pick it up myself personally, but but I'm feeling it. But this song is this song is probably this song is probably. I think we're like halfway through this now. I have to say that this is probably. I gotta turn this down. I can't even hear myself talk. That's why I only listen to this at like a moderate volume so I can hear myself talking so I don't scream at you guys. But But I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite Mama Moo songs maybe ever, but definitely in maybe a year or two without a doubt. Like I have no doubt that I really really like this song like that much. A little appropriate change in the in the audio for that little interlude. Okay, that was. Okay, I like that. That was a nice change of uh, of pace. That way, I was actually interesting and good. Like you know, some, some obviously sometimes right when you when you like take a break and you change it up that much that it's a little like I don't really know how well that fit in there. But actually, I I was obviously related to a certain extent as far as the you know sound and feel of the song, but it worked really really well when other times it would fail. But like oh Jesus, oh Jesus Christ, oh my God. Like like I said, I think that this is 100% a lot of this. This is one of my this is this is one of my favorite songs from Mamamoo, and 
Yeah, I like it. And this is good. This is a perfect time because for for me, I, I suppose potentially probably it's related, I suppose, but to kind of bring up the 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 thing that I've kind of that when I when I said I don't like a song from Mamamoo or this is not my favorite song from them and people's responses to what I said because generally my whole, you know, criticism and all that stuff is like I just it just doesn't didn't feel like in, with previous songs, it's like it just didn't really feel. It didn't have like that, you know, personality that a Mama Moo song does, or that it should, or that I would expect from it. Right? It's not necessarily me saying that the song is bad in and of itself. It's just like compared to their other songs, it just kind of lacks that feel. This one is 100% like a Mama Moo song. It's, it's, it's like un, with without a doubt, it feels like it, and that's that is one of the main reasons why I liked it. And so when people's responses to my me saying that was like, well, they can't always do that retro thing. I'm like, it's not about them being doing having that retro sound and visual look. The retro thing has nothing to do with whether I like a song from Mamamoo or not. It doesn't define their personality, right? The music video and the vocal performance and just the attitude and the swagger and the personality that they put in the performance of their song is what makes a song a, a song for Mama Moo. So this song right here is not the, the the whole retro thing that they got known for, that they became famous for, or because of, I should say, kind of. And it's one of, I, I would say, one of their best songs ever. So, like I said, is my as my response because I, just because I don't like a song doesn't mean it's because it isn't one specific you know sound and look, but it's just because I found it to be lacking in the quality in the thing that makes Mama Moo one of the better, which is why I like a lot of their songs, and it's because. They have a little distinct personality and feel and persona that comes out in their music, and that's the reason why I like this song, right? Also, big, big thing too is like the music track to this song is also really, really good. So I spent enough time just focusing on the fact that like, I guess kind of addressing some people that yeah, maybe I didn't, maybe I needed to, maybe I didn't need to actually bring up some of that stuff from the past. But, you know, it's, it's definitely, I think, relevant in this case, because like I said, this song is a, a bit of a departure from their their more song their songs that are more that are in this kind of I guess similarity or this vein of you know the the performance aspect of the music video and the the super upbeat nature of their song the, just just in general like they're more pop sounding music that stuff has definitely been very very you know retro influenced in in the visual side and the audio side. And of course, the music that I that I haven't really been a big fan of up until this song has been more, you know, vocal oriented, more, I don't know, R&B, whatever you want to call it, or whatever it is that they actually drew their inspiration from. And this one isn't necessarily, isn't necessarily, you know, that retro, that retro thing that they've done before. I like that. I really, really do. And I mean, music, musically, I really, really dig, you know, that, that the, I guess with the rhythm track, the like the drum beat, the 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 bass guitar, the thing that just keeps the time essentially for the entire song, it's awesome. It's re it was really really kind of the 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 bass guitar and all that stuff was kind of really really hidden as I listened to it through my headphones. Um, even though I turned it up to the point that like I couldn't even hear myself talk, which was bad, but it was there. I dug it. I was super, super into that groove, and it, it's it's just great. So the music track is awesome. the The performance that they put forward in this song, the way that they you know sung it, all of that is spectacular, and definitely makes the song feel like it is a song by you know Mama Moo, or at least a promotion song by this group. So that's really, really awesome. And if I wasn't even eager to listen to this album before I listened to this song. As sure as hell, I am very interested in checking this one out. So that's, of course, what I'm going to do. I do that normally, but I'm especially motivated and incentivized to check that one out, th th this album out now. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's it. That's all I got to say. I'm going to turn it over to you guys. And I don't know. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you, you guys a question because, of course, I kind of brought up the whole you know, what makes a song from Mamamoo good? And I want to ask, I want to ask, I want to ask you guys that question. What is it for you that makes the songs from Mamamoo good? 
Like, what is a song that you didn't like from them and why? Right? Because if it would be a song that didn't necessarily have that thing that you always look for in a song from this group. I already shared what mine is pretty much, and it's like their personality and persona that comes across in their music. But I want to know what you guys think. And of course, you're free to share whatever you think about this song and music video. Drop that stuff down in the comments below. We're trying to build a community here that is all about having some friendly and respectful discussion about our opinions, whether we agree or disagree about the song. That means whether we like the song or not, all opinions are welcome here. And I mean, we're here We're here to, to discuss it. I mean, I've stuck up for people in the comments that I didn't even agree with. And because it's all about having some friendly, productive conversation to just kind of potentially discuss and share and about about our ideas and honestly right so if you tell me why you didn't like this song and you make a good convincing argument then i would definitely say that's a valid i mean every reason is a valid reason but you might even change someone's mind think about that you put forward a good or a good argument some solid reasoning you might change somebody somebody's mind so you know if you're interested in that community i don't even need to really talk about that but the song has got me super super hyped so i drug the intro the drug this outro a little longer than i needed to so i'm gonna finish it off here join my community if you like talking about stuff you want to have good conversation subscribe button is down there click it so you can stay updated with all of my future uploads so that's going to be it for this video as always i'm going to thank you for watching and i will see you all next time Hello.